Hey folks, how y'all doing? This is KBS and or Kenny Vire. I am here at the hunting cab and uh, I just want to show you the weather station, the new weather station I've built. Uh, kind of a Christmas gift to the hunting cab. All right. Well, I'll show you the uh, Acurite we got set up with the lightning detection. And uh, all right, here we go. Let me get you over here. All right, there's the solar right now. We're putting out 13.3. Um, it's a 13.3 volt solar amps, no, no load. But we are running, uh, we are running the little, uh, this is the, for the weather station, this little, uh, Converter. Let's see. It's designed for DC to DC. All right, it's doing a great job. That's USB. I just see right here. But this is the conditions for today. It's 64 degrees Fahrenheit. 60 percent humidity. Storm is likely. That's true. And the barometer is straight. Uh, I mean, straight, steady. But yeah. All right, let me show you the new edition. I worked. I bought this on eBay. And then I written it's a. It's my four wheeler running in the background. But I rebuilt it. See, it says Vire Farm. Established 2020. And it had holes in it. So what I did, I put 22 bullets, shells. Whoops. Put shells. And it's made of it's made of um walnut. So I just put I just reamed out a little more with my drill bit and put 22 bullets in there. 22 shells. Excuse me. But man, these things were they cleaned up great. This is an eBay fan. Oh, I love eBay. That's barometric pressure right there. And uh, let me just turn it just a little more. Get it dead on. And it's dead on with the weather station over there too. And this is to call the comforter. What comforter is is a cabin comforter. It's a, hygr a hygrometer, which is humidity, and the, the thermometer is in Celsius. Uh, it's at about 25 degrees Celsius, which is 70 degrees. A little over 70, because 70 be, would, would be right there. So it's going be right there. But, but let's see. If you pack it, a lot of times your barometer, Either which way it goes, that means it's dropping or falling. But a good way to test a bromp to see if it works is to put it in a bag, like a big old zip up bag, and zip it up and put pressure against it. And if you see the needle move, you know it works. So I saw that on another YouTube video. But yeah, just want to give y'all a little shout out on that. All right, y'all. Y'all have a good one now. There we go. We'll get another little picture of it. And there's our other weather station. That's all running off grid. But there she is. That's a heck of a little station right there. I mean, as far as analog, I'm a big analog fan. So yeah, and just let you know what the weather's doing. I mean, barometric pressure is everything. Get your get your old saw analog barometric barometer. It'll tell you everything you need to know. Weather change in the future, highs and lows, highs and low pressures, all that kind of stuff. All right, y'all. Y'all be good now. Thanks for watching. I'll take you out here real quick. Just been cutting wood and all that good stuff today. Got my Honda out. I have been cutting trees from that windstorm when that front we had come through. But she is doing a great job. Okay, y'all, y'all have a good one. And have a blessed one, y'all. All right now. Oh, here to come on.
Eh, it's not much to see, but there's a little bit of it right there. That's my, I'm on my hunting blinds, but it's, it's green. That's a little moss oak biologic, a little bit of everything. But yeah, I, I distilled it up back in the fall, planted it. Yeah, looking good. Looking good. Okay, y'all. I'll say I'll thank y'all for watching. Y'all have a good one. God bless and supper five. Hoorah. Got wrong hand. It's hard to tell. God bless and supper five. Please subscribe. Hoorah. Y'all have a good one now. Thank you.